Namaste and welcome to Magic Vibration Healing School. My name is Damien Hay and today I would like to, to speak about our own inner code or codex and transcendence, you know, self-realization. So in many ancient mystery schools, or maybe more in the Eastern Vedic schools, we seek transcendence, we seek self-realization, the liberation from the ordinary limitation of, you know, of self, of being human. So transcendence comes from the Latin trans, which is to go beyond, and then it comes from scandare, which means to climb. So it's to climb beyond. So in transcendence, there is a movement of ascension. Yeah, it's the same road. It's to go up, to move, you know, in the verticality of our being and consciousness. And it's to go beyond the limitation. So you can see it as going, let's say, from, you know, single digits. So, you know, zero, one, two, three, until nine, and to move to the next octave. Yeah, so 10, 11, 12, and so on. So our code, our code is like these digits. Our code is something that is fractalized. It has many different layers. As our codex is like a symphony, it's like music, it's alive, it's a song line. It's an inner movement and rhythm of different frequencies that are unique to us. This code exists on many different layers in the same way that you know, we can perceive frequencies with our different senses according to the range, you know, where they evolve. Yeah, so the sound waves have a lower frequency than the light waves. And even in the light waves, the frequencies of light, there is a light that we can see that is visible light and there is light that is beyond what our eyes can see, like the ultraviolet and the infrared. So our own codex, is made of all these frequencies and rhythm. It's like an inner symphony. Transcendence is to move in the verticality of this symphony, of this inner codex. It's to access beyond a higher level of our fractal of consciousness. In these higher levels, we are more. We are more than one individual. And so when we move from the first density where we feel we are one, physical, emotional, mental being. We move to the next density, so we could call it to the next level of the fractal. So let's say from the single digit to the double digit, then we are 12. Yeah, we are 12 God selves, 12, you know, different individuals connected as a group soul. Yeah, these 12 incarnations that we have, maybe they exist, you know, today, maybe they are scattered through the linear timelines. Yeah? So what we would call past life, future life, alternate lives. To when we move even to a higher level of the fractal of our consciousness, let's say three digits, so we move to the over soul level, yeah, then we are 12 times 12, so 144 selves or God selves incarnated in different timelines. When we move again to the higher level, so that would be the avatar level, so 12 dimensional level of identity, then we are 12 times 12 times 12, which would be 1,728 God selves. Yeah, so this is a level of identity, you know, that pervades multiple timelines and multiple personalities. So transcendence is the movement of our point of perception through this vertical axis, the dimensional axis, where we transcend our individual point of perception to move to a soul point of perception, an over soul level, and then even higher level, like an avatar level. So now, you can see it as a ladder that, you know, we climb. And this is any organic ascension process. That's what they describe. So to, to ascend, to transcend, to move beyond our limitations. Well, we need first to know well our code. We need to explore, embody, and become friends with the map of our codex. More than a map, 
the map is essential. We need to become one with the territory of our code, our codex. So the territory is the map being experienced. The map is a design, it's a template, it's, you know, specific virtues, qualities, it's, you know, locations. It's something that is more static. The territory is alive. The territory is the map being experienced and reborn at every breath. As we experience our own code, as we explore it, as we learn how to know our code, to define it, to put words on it, as we are unraveling the mystery of our codex, we start to know ourselves more and more. And like all the ancient mystery schools we are sharing, know thyself is the key to evolution, it is the key to wisdom, it is the key to healing, this is the key to transcendence. So to transcend to a higher level of my own identity, I do need to know who I am. To know who I am, I need to remember, remember my original codex, my original code, my original purpose, as a glimpse, a spark of consciousness that decided to play the game of conscious co-creation, to play the game of incarnation, of coming into a localized field that I would call, you know, me, my physical body, my emotional mental awareness, and all the other dimensional layers that this, you know, includes. Well, in our current world, our normal point of perception and awareness is locked in the first density, so in the mental awareness, in the emotional awareness, and the physical awareness. Yeah, to transcend and to move with all our memory, all our full presence and awareness to the higher densities, so the higher level of the fractal, we need to masterize vitality. Yeah, so we need to masterize the physical, emotional, and mental map. To masterize a map means to explore the map so that it can become a living territory that we can embody, that we can breathe, that we can explore, that we know each and every corner and detail, so that it can become a strong foundation to climb as a ladder to the next level of knowing of density to the next level of the fractal, so which is a new territory where it's you know 12 God selves together. So it's a territory probably 12 times greater and bigger than you know the current territory we explore with our current mental awareness. So transcendence asks us to know ourselves, to know our codex, to remember who we truly are. How do you remember? How do you access this original template, which is beyond the conditioning we received through our parents, through our karmic imprints, beyond the conditioning from the society, from school, from whatever we can learn. This is something deeply imprinted and encrypted within our DNA. It's within a time capsule that is held, usually in the azure, so the higher heart, and this is where we can truly access yeah, the original impulse of the divine, when the will of giving birth to a localized field of us, who we are as an individual or as a multidimensional being, where this started. We need a sacred space, we need a specific journey, we need specific tools to help each of us remember who we truly are, to help us unlock this treasure, this sacred code, which is hidden in a vault that, you know, we forgot through incarnations and that we don't necessarily remember at birth. And in this journey, we can, you know, access our inner power, access the mystery of our own being, of our own birth, not the birth of this body, our first coming or birth as a multidimensional being, you know, long, long time ago in, you know, let's say what we would call today the multiverse. In February, in Atitlan Lake, Guatemala, with my sister Gaia Gra, we will have and host a space so that people can come 
and journey through many different healing processes, through different meditations, shamanic journeys, sound healing, you know, yoga, body movements, dances, so that each of us, we can remember our own original codex, our own true code, our own true purpose, which comes with an inner secret name that the Divine Mother so that the intelligence of creation knows us by. It comes with memories that are encrypted, infused in our cells. It comes with a simple inner knowing of who we truly are and what qualities we carry, what is our true purpose. Once we will access a deeper layer of you know, this knowing of who we are, this original codex, then we can you know, explore the map in a safe and coherent way. We can make sure that we don't forget any part of the territory to explore. And once we start to embody our own territory of consciousness, then we can transcend and move to the higher octave or higher level of the fractal of who we are. And there we will explore a greater map, which is, you know, 12 God Selves mapping and territory. And once we, again, based on this foundation of who we are as an individual, once we explore and complete the territory exploration of these 12 God Selves, then we can transcend again to the higher level. And, you know, this is a long journey that sometimes takes lifetime. This journey, whatever time it takes, it starts by knowing who you are, by remembering your own original codex, which tribe you come from, what is the destiny imprinted in the core of your DNA as a multidimensional being. This is what we call sacred remembrance. And we invite you to this retreat that is from the 9th to the 14th February 2023 in Guatemala to explore, to unravel the mystery, to reveal the secret of your own original code. Welcome to all. Please contact me if you have any questions. Thank you.